Okay, ready? What do we want to do? We want to go through. We want to find probabilities using tables. Some books call this a two-way table. Sure. Um, all books have these. I looked through all my books. You know, all the big ones. Um, if I'm looking at this table up here, yes, it has the frequency of occurrence of each one of these items. Now, your book is going to color it fancy with words and give you a story and all that to make this more general. I'm just putting some numbers in here. What's this number? This is the number of things that occurred in A and B. This is the overlap of A and B. Some would write it, some would write it A and B. And some would write it A and B. These are two different ways. Um, set notation, sure. And then some books have relax their standards and use the word and. And that's this value right here. These are the things that occurred in A and B. Sure. Now, wait a minute. Here's the stuff that happened in A and B complement. <clears throat> yeah, this is B complement. This is everything that is not in B. Sure. All right, so maybe we want to find everything that is in A, because this is the stuff in A and B. This is the stuff in A and B complement. So if we're going to find the stuff in A, that's going to be over here in its margins. So the things that occur in A are going to be in its margins. Here we have 70 things in A, sure. Um, here, we're going to have 30 things in A complement. But maybe we want to know how many things happened in event B. In event B, this is 50, and B not is 50. <laughs> hey yo, 50. Hey yo, 50. Let's look at our margins in a quick margin check. Would be to see 50 plus 50 is 100 total things occurred. Okay, and up here, 70 and 30, 100 total things occurred. In our margins, it's going to sum to the total number of things. And this is in our two-way table. Yeah, some of these tables are represented by probabilities. Now, if we take this number and divide it by the total number, that's going to give us the probability of things that occur in A and B. Let's do that now. Okay, so down here I had 40 things in A, and there were 100 total things. So this probability is about, or is, 0.4. You might write it as 40 hundredths. Sure. And similarly, this is 30 hundredths. And this one down here, this is 50 hundredths. And this one is also 50, nope, just kidding, back that stat up. What should this be? This should be 10. Sure, why? Because if we look back in this one, we had 10 things in our original, and then 10 divided by 100 is a tenth. Yes. And then, down here, this is not 50. Come on. What should this be? Back up here in our original, this was 20, so this was 20 hundredths. Yeah, or 0.2. Okay, now that we talked a little bit about these tables, let's find some probabilities. Study. 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 Study.